Um, today I'm going to show you how I store all of my metal dies. Um, these are the, like the um, Spellbinders dies, the Nest Abilities. These particular ones are the Dynamic dies from My Favourite Things. Um, and they all come very uh, sort of in packs, loose and very, very easy to lose. And I don't want to lose any of these, you know, especially these really tiny, small um, dies here. So, um, I decided to store mine using uh, magnetic sheets. Now you can buy these magnetic sheets from, um, well this one's by Woodware. Um, they're quite thin, but they're quite strong magnets in them, so it's really good. Um, this one comes with two A4 sheets of magnet in them, so you know, you've got plenty to be getting along with. And all I do is get an old CD case, take out all of the, um, the CD and all of the innards. I also, this is a bit tough to do, but I also pull out this bit, the plastic insert as well. I can get remove that paper backing as well. So I'm just left with the clear box. Next we need to set it up with the magnets. So all I do is get a small square punch or a round punch or you know whatever punch you have to hand and just punch through the magnet sheet. You might need to stand up to punch because it can be quite tough, but you just punch out little squares and these are self-adhesive squares so you just peel the backer off and you can stick that to your CD case and then get your nest abilities or what have you Instead of having to store them in little baggies and all, everything all the time, you can just stick them straight to your magnets. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and punch out a few more squares and show you how I do that. Okay, so once you've got them all punched out and stuck down, um, you can just pop your nest abilities in there. And they all just slot in. And then you can just go ahead and pick this one out to cut and you can just put it back in and immediately you know you've got them all there and they're not they're not lost because you can see that they're all there. You could if you want just cut out um, a rectangle the exact same size as the back of the CD box um, but I don't find that necessary. I think just um, a couple of punches, a couple of punch outs do exactly the same job and hold them all in place. So that's how I store all of my metal dies. Hope that helps you. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.